Hi everyone, I'm Lisbeth. Thank you for tuning in on Moseholm Yoga. This small yoga sequence is perfect for the morning to start your day. Or maybe during the day, maybe if you're working from home to have a break in between. Or maybe any time during your day you just need a small yoga break. To begin with, just find a comfortable seated position. However, you sit nice and tall. You can let your hands rest to your thighs. And then close your eyes for a moment. Take a moment to settle on your yoga mat. Letting your attention drift a bit deeper inwards. Take some deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. Deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. Notice how every inhale fills you up. And how every exhale is softening, relaxing. Deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. All together we take a deep breath in by the nose. And this time let your arms float out to the sides and all the way up high. At the top bring your palms together, close your eyes. And bring your thumbs to your heartbeat. Relax your shoulders back and down. Take another deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. And just simply notice your heart pumping. And then let your hands rest to your thighs. And gently open your eyes. From here you lean towards your left side, so you can stretch your right leg out to the side. If it feels a bit tight here in the back of your leg, you can always keep a soft bend in your knee. But otherwise you just straighten out your right leg, place your right hand to the ground, take a deep breath in as you lift your left arm to the sky, open up. And as you exhale you can bend your elbow, tip over towards the right. Maybe halfway down, maybe all the way. You can grab for your toes, your foot or your leg. Maybe rock a bit side to side. Take in a few deep breaths. Or if you rather want to lift your left arm to the sky and open up. Open up and create some space. On an inhale again, you lift right back up through the middle. Coming into a twist by placing right hand to your left knee, left fingertips behind you. Inhale to sit nice and tall. And exhale, easy, gently twist your spine. On an inhale, again, back through the middle. One more time, you place your right hand to the ground, lift your left arm to the sky, open up. And as you exhale, you can tip over to the right, halfway or maybe all the way down. You can grab your toes, your foot, your leg. Maybe rock a bit side to side. On an inhale again, you lift up your upper body. Placing your left hand to the ground behind your left leg. Lean to the left so you can lift your right arm to the sky, open up. And if it feels good, you can lift your hips up too. Come to your knee and your shin, just stretching out your body nice and long. Opening up. Again, you gently bring your hips back down. And then you lean to the right side so you can stretch your left leg out this time. As well to this side, if it feels better to keep a soft bend in your knee, just keep a soft bend. Placing your left hand to the ground, inhale, lift your right arm to the sky, open up. And as you exhale, you can bend your left elbow, tip over towards the left. Maybe halfway, maybe all the way down. If it feels good, you can grab for your toes, your foot or your leg. Maybe rock a bit side to side. Or if you rather want to lift up your right arm, opening up, stretching your body, creating some space.
On an inhale, again, you lift right back through the middle, coming into a twist, placing left hand to your right knee, right fingertips behind you. Inhale to sit nice and tall. And exhale, easy, gently twist. Again, on an inhale, back through the middle. One more time, place your left hand to the ground, lift your right arm to the sky, open up. Maybe tip all the way over. Maybe drop down, grab for your toes, your foot or your leg. Rocking a bit side to side. Just moving in a way that feels good in your body. One more time on an inhale, you lift right back through the middle, placing your right hand behind your right leg to the ground. Lean to the right, lift your left arm to the sky, open up. And if it feels good, you can lift your hips up too, just stretching your body nice and long. Opening up. And again, gently bring your hips back down to the ground. From here, you bend your left leg in one more time. Finding a comfortable seated position. Letting your hands rest to your thighs. And close your eyes for a moment. Letting your attention again drift a bit deeper inwards. Deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. And again, gently open your eyes. From here, we come to all four on your hands and your knees. You can spread your fingers nice and wide as you press them towards the yoga mat. And then you start moving your spine around, anyhow it feels good to move. You can round it, you can arch it, move a bit side to side, round and round. Anyhow it feels good to move your body here. If there is any little tight spot or any sore place, just approach it with some deep breath and some gentle moves. And feel how you start the movement from the center of your body and how the rest of the body just comes along. Take a deep breath in as you arch your spine, tuck your toes, and exhale, let your heel, hips come back towards your heels. Take another deep breath in as you lift your hips up nice and high, and exhale, you're softening your heels to the ground, coming into a downward facing dog. And just take your time to adjust the position of your hands and your feet to settle in your down dog. Maybe gentle walk on the spot, shifting your body weight from one heel to the opposite. Just a few deep breaths. On an inhale, you lift up nice and high to your tippy toes, lift your hips up high. And exhale, softening your heels back down towards the ground. Two more times, inhale, lift up nice and high to your tippy toes. And exhale, softening your heels to the ground. One more time, inhale, lift up nice and high. And exhale, easy down. And then from here, you walk your hands and your feet all the way to the top of your yoga mat. Just one bouncy step at a time. And as you reach your toes, just bend your knees, let your torso fold over your legs. On an inhale, you roll up to stand one notch at a time. Open your arms out to the side, reach to the sky. And as you exhale again, just bend your knees, fold over your legs. Two more times on an inhale, you roll up to stand. Opening out and reach up tall. And exhale again, just bend your knees, fold over your legs. One last time, inhale, you roll up to stand, one vertebra at a time. Opening out, reach up tall, maybe small back bend. And exhale, bend your knees, fold over your legs. On an inhale, you can lift up halfway long, flat back. And exhale, palms down. Lean to the right so you can step your left foot far back, low lunge. Press your feet against the ground. Inhale, takes you up nice and high, arms to the sky. And exhale, soft and halfway down. Just let your arms fall down. Two more times, inhale to fill up. And exhale, easy down. One more time, inhale, takes you up nice and high. 
and exhale all the way back down place your hands to the ground come all the way down to your low lunge gently lower your left knee and shin to the ground and just take a few deep breath here and maybe rock a bit side to side just move in a way that feels good opening up the hip a bit especially if you spend a lot of hours during the day in a seated position which a lot of us do do in the work hours or anything you might get tight hips so it feels good to come to your low lunge and just open up a bit you can move your upper body anyhow it feels good staying down low or lifting up maybe opening up one side or making a twist the opposite way just try a bit around and see what works best for you and every day is not the same so it can be different every time when you're ready, again, both hands to the ground, tuck your back toes and easy, gently make your way into your runner stretch by stretching out your right leg. But no need to push it into the stretch. If it feels a bit tight, just bend the knee on an inhale. And as you exhale, you can easy, gently stretch out the leg. Just taking a few deep breaths. Take your time to explore a bit. One way, maybe the opposite. Just a few deep breath here. When you're ready, again, you crawl your way forward, low lunge. Keep your left hand to the ground, lean to the left, inhale, lift your right arm to the sky for a nice twist. And again, both hands to the ground. Tuck your back toes and make your way back to your down dog. Breathe in deep. One more time, you walk your hands and your feet all the way to the top of your yoga mat. And as you reach the top, just bend your knees, let your torso fold over your legs. On an inhale, you roll up to stand one up to the time, open your arms out to the side, reach to the sky, maybe a small back bend. And exhale, bend your knees, just fold over your legs. Inhale, you can lift up halfway long flat back. And exhale, palms down. Lean to the left, so you step your right foot far back, low lunge. Press your feet against the ground. Inhale, takes you up nice and high, arms to the sky. And exhale, soft and halfway down. Just let your arms fall down. Two more times, inhale to fill up. And exhale, easy down. One more time, inhale, takes you up nice and high. And exhale all the way back down, place your hands to the ground. Come into your low lunge, gently lower your left, right knee and your shin to the ground. Taking a few deep breaths. Just get into it in this side. Take your time maybe to rock a bit side to side. Finding a nice place to stay for a few deep breaths. You can stay down low or you can lift up. Arms can be down or you can reach them to the sky, maybe a small back bend. Maybe a twist to one side or a nice opening the opposite way. You just try around and see what feels best to this side. Always just breathe in deep. When you're ready, again, both hands to the ground. Tuck your back toes, easy, gently make your way into your runner stretch to this side. Taking some deep breath in and some long slow breath out again you can rock a bit forward and back if it feels a bit tight or maybe it just feels nice to have a bit of movement into this stretch relaxing your shoulders your neck breathe in deep And when you're ready, again, you crawl your way forward, low lunge. Keep your right hand to the ground, lean to the right, and lift your left arm to the sky for a nice twist. And again, bring your both hands to the ground. Tuck your back toes and step back to your down dog. Taking a few deep breaths. And then you walk your hands back to your feet, one step at a time. And as you reach your toes, just bend your knees, let your torso fold over your legs. You can grab your opposite elbows, let your arms sway side to side for a nice shoulder release.
And then again, just let your arms hang down. On an inhale, you roll up to stand one or two at a time. Open your arms out to the side, reach to the sky. At the top, you grab your right wrist, just stretch your body nice and long. Scoop your hips to the right, stretch your arms to the left. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Deep breath in to open up, create some space. And long, slow breath out, softening. On an inhale, back through the middle, grab the opposite wrist, stretch your body nice and long. Scoop your hips to the left, stretch your arms to the right. Breathe in deep. One more time on an inhale, back to the middle, stretch your body nice and long, maybe small back then. And exhale, bend your knees and fold over your legs. Inhale to lift up halfway long flat back. And exhale, palms down. And make your way back to your down dog. Taking a few deep breaths. On an inhale, you roll forward into a plank pose. Gently lower your knees and your hips to the ground for a nice up dog. You can move a bit side to side. Stretching your arms, lift up your chest. And then lift your hips and bring your hips to your heels into a child's pose. Taking a few deep breaths. Maybe a gentle sway side to side. On an inhale, you roll up to sit on your heels. Relax your shoulders back and down. Take a deep breath in as you let your arms float out to the sides and all the way up high. And as you exhale, make a twist to the right side. Left hand to your thigh, right fingertips behind you. Inhale to sit nice and tall. And exhale, easy, gently twist. Inhale back through the middle, let your arms float out to the sides and all the way up high. Exhale, make a twist to the left side, right hand to your thigh, left fingertips behind you. Inhale to sit nice and tall. And exhale, easy, gently twist. Inhale again back to the middle. Let your arms float out to the side and all the way up high. And as you exhale, let your arms come down the sides of your body. Place your palms behind you to the ground. As you press your palms to the ground, you lift your chest towards the sky, open up. And if it feels good, you can lift your hips up too. Just open up the front of your body. And again, gently you bring your hips back down to the ground. Make your way up. Place your hands to one side of your body so you can turn around and lie down to your back. Bring your knees with you as you roll down. Knees to the chest, give yourself a nice hug. Then they'll squeeze, maybe rock a bit side to side. Maybe drawing circles with your hips. Release and relaxing your lower back. And then just make your way into your Shavasana position. Anyhow you like comfortable. Just a few minutes of maximum relaxation. Close your eyes. And guide your focus back to your heartbeat. Deep breath in by your nose. And long slow breath out by your mouth. Deep breath in. Long, slow breath out. Just relax your body. Relax your mind. And notice your inhales and your exhales as they come and go. Just like watching the waves of the ocean. Deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. And 
And you can stay as long as you like in your Shavasana. When you feel ready to slowly bring some movement back to your body. Begin by deep in your inhales. And lengthen your exhales. Slowly you can begin moving your fingers, your toes, wrists and ankles, arms and legs. You can move and stretch your body however you like. Maybe draw your knees to your chest, give yourself a nice hug. And I thank you for today's yoga practice. And then keep your eyes closed as you roll to one side of your body. And gently make your way up to a comfortable seated position. However, you sit nice and tall. Together we take a deep breath in by the nose, let your arms float out to the sides and all the way up high. At the top, bring your palms together, close your eyes and bring your thumbs to your heartbeat. Relax your shoulders back and down. Take another deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. One more time together, deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. And as you feel your heart pumping, thank yourself for taking your time for your yoga practice today. Thank you for sharing your time and your energy. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. Namaste. I hope you feel amazing. Have a beautiful day.